In this lecture, I am going to tell you how we can use jQuery selectable to select one or multiple element at a time in our application. I have this selectable.html file and I opened that file in the code editor. Now let's search jQuery selectable in Google and then let's click on this first link which is jQueryUI.com slash selectable and here we have this sample selectable element. Now let's click on this view source link to get the code and let's copy the code from here and paste that code inside our html file and then I'll remove this style links from here and I will add https before this link and then I'll remove this elements from here because I don't need much elements for selectable so let's open this file with google chrome Now let's see what we have you see we have this selectable element here we can select the element one by one or we can select the elements at once right so we can select the element at once or one by one so let's check the code how our selectable is working so we have this alias inside this oil of id selectable and to make this alias selectable what we need to do we need to call selectable method to its parent element which is this oil of id selectable that's why we are calling selectable method to this selector and we can call this selectable method because we have this jquery ui library here and jquery library inside this file so we can select the element here but we don't have any track which element is selected right so how we can track which element is selected so to track the element what we need to do we need to add id to each element so let's add id to each element suppose this element id is slot 1 and the id of this element is slot 2 let's provide the id for each element you can use jquery selectable for multiple purposes suppose you have multiple slots which user can book in your application then you can use this selectable so I added slot 1 slot 2 slot 3 slot 4 slot 5 as ID for each elements okay now to get which element is selected and to get the ID of selected elements what you need to do we need to pass an object inside this selectable method and we can call I mean we can call the selected event right so let's pass this selectable not selectable selected event here and we'll get the event and UI as a parameter to this event callback method and we can get the selected ID with this UI dot selected dot ID okay so let's refresh this URL and let's open our developer console and try to select this element of id2 you see we are getting selected id slot 2 which is the id of this element so we successfully got the selected element id right and we can also call unselected event when your element will be unselected then this event will call okay now let's re refresh this URL and try to select multiple elements at a time you see we are getting three message in the console because each time the selected event will fire when a single element will be selected right but if you want to call any external API after selected one or multiple element then how you can do it there is another method or event called stop so this stop method will call only once after each selection will be done so let's console a message stop so this will call only once after each selection done right so let's refresh the url and try to select this 
select each element you see we are getting this from this selected event but we are getting this stop only once for multiple selection which is coming from this stop event right there is also another method called start you don't need i think this start method if you need you can also add start to your selectable method this will call at the first time when you will click on the selectable element okay so this is how we can track which element is selected and which element is unselected here is also other uh, other uh, events available in the ap documentation you see there are selecting unselecting event and create event available if you want to learn this you can click each events and you can learn for the events right so now i will tell you how we can select i mean pre select the element so to pre select the element what you can do you can add ui selected class to each element selected i mean this will be ui selected so this ui selected class will pre select the element so i added ui selected to the first element that's why you see the element is pre selected okay so let's okay let's remove it oh no yeah let's remove it or you can put this for the testing purposes so this element is pre selected now if you want to disable an element then how you can achieve this suppose i want to disable item number 5 or slot 5 then how we can achieve this so i'll add selectable to each li if you drop this slot 4 because this slot 4 will be disable so i will not add selectable class to this slot 4 item okay and i added selectable class to all the items other than this item so after adding the selectable class to this elements instead of this li what i will do i will pass filter here so this selectable only will work only for the selectable class so i passed this filter with this selector so this selectable will only work now with this selectable class elements so let's refresh this url and try to select this number 4 you see it is not selecting right so this is disable we can select the other elements but we cannot select number 4 or item 4 you can add disable class to it So let's add disable class to it, and you can add style for the disable element. So let's see what is the class. It is disable, right? So you can add background class for it. So let's add uh, not background class. This will be background property. So this will be gray or some other. color if you want to put for the disable you see this is pre selected and this is disable right we cannot select this element and we can select the other elements so this is how we can use jquery selectable in our application you can design your selectable elements as per your project requirement so this package will be very helpful so that's it for jquery selectable